Please. Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, <clears throat> adequate notice of this meeting is forwarded to the official township newspapers posted on the bulletin board and township website on January 8th, 2022. Roll call. Mr. Doyle? Here. Mr. Deegan? Here. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Here. Mrs. Lane? Here. Mayor Bruno? Here. Uh, before we start, we have a couple of facts you want to give out. Uh, first one, would be for Mary Pesh Wilson. Uh, we want to thank you for your loyal service and dedication to the Township of Franklin as a committee member from 2017 to 2022. Oh, thank you. Next, uh, we have one for Dave P. Deegan, Jr. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bob, you got that right. Thank you for your loyal service and dedication to the Township of Franklin as a committee member and mayor from 2012 to 2014 and from 2017 to 2024. It's been a pleasure serving alongside you both. Thank you, James. Mayor, even you, even you, you, even you, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know your problems. <laughs> Cupcakes, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Dave. Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Can I get a motion to adopt Ordinance 2522, amending and updating the community center rules and regulations, along with updating the rental contract application and fees for use of the community center within the Township of Franklin? I make a motion that we approve. <laughs> Adopting it? Oh, adopting. Oh, adopting. Adopting it. Okay. Yeah, make a motion to be adopt. 02522. Oh, second. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Okay. We have to have a public hearing first. Okay. okay. I'd like to open up the public hearing on 02522. Barbara, write that. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, but just a quick couple questions on this, um, only because I have a few people who asked me questions about it, and I didn't see it on the website, the details, again, of the rules and regulations. It did have what we're passing, but it didn't have all the listing of all the rules and regulations. I did ask Barb for, you know, through an open request, and I did receive it. So that's why I'm going to ask questions tonight. I, it was, like, late before I got it, okay? Um, sure. It says about... And I'm going to go over to where fees and payments are on it, if you're following me. And it just says regarding, you know, the community center is available for free to priority groups as long as the security deposit is secured. Correct. Okay. So, and that means A through J, which is pretty much a large group of them. So do, like, have you already, like, noticed all those groups who are there they've already been noticed that they're gonna to have to pay a security yes. how much I mean it says either 50 or a hundred dollars depends on how many times a month I believe they use the building okay so now our senior citizens no. they don't have to no. right because we had this talked is, about that earlier right? because of the cleanup. I mean, yeah like, I understand there, that to go in there and it, you know even the, the charities and the nonprofits go in there. Yeah. okay we shouldn't have to we're providing the building we should also have to provide the cleanup so, yeah, a little dirt is okay, but like some of the stuff we've been encountering is just way, way too much. No, I, I understand. And you had spoken to us, you and the administrator were there earlier with the seniors. But I, at that point, you were still in the works of what you were going to plan on doing that. We didn't really see everything. So that's why I'm asking. The other thing is it says on uh, number three where the kitchen can only be used by an outside mm -hmm. catering facility who provides insurance for the day of the event covering the use of kitchen and any equipment in the kitchen including but not limited to range of and steam table earlier so if i had a baby shower i have to hire a caterer if you're going to be using the kitchen to cook food yes if i'm going to heat it up i mean if something i brought from I mean, home is what i'm saying so i have to bring it out to get it with insurance yeah 
because I, I know I just wasn't sure because I, and I, I hate that it's last minute but I just really saw this and I think it might create a few questions from the outside once they see that kind of stuff sternos sternos and all that's different because you'll be outside the kitchen but to use the but usually you know what i'm saying somebody brings a tray of i hate to say like baked ziti or meatballs and they want to heat it up in the oven which sometimes doesn't work but you know what i'm saying i mean do you want them to have an outside catering because some of our firehouses you know you have yeah, to get I mean, the there, there you have to use that to okay the they're going to use if they're using the kitchen and they're turning the oven on i need to on the insurance I, and I understand, like I said, but I, it's not really clear, and I don't think that the public knows it yet, so may I ask that we could put it up on, like, a something board that we could just add on to the website so that that's answered and it's not a question. Thank you for your time. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. <clears throat> I make a motion to close the public portion for 025-22. I make a motion that we close the public portion. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I get a motion to adopt ordinance 2522. I make a, I make a motion that we adopt 02522. Second. Mr. Deacon? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. I get a motion to open the first public portion for resolutions and ordinances below. I make a motion we open the first <clears throat> public portion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion to close the first public portion. I make a motion to we close the first public portion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Make a motion to approve correspondence and reports. I make a motion that we approve correspondence and reports. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Make a motion to approve the minutes from December 13, 2022. I make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Make a motion to approve the bill list. Make a motion we approve the bill list. Okay, okay. I didn't see you on there. No, I did. She's okay. Yeah. I'm going to second, but excuse myself from the Franklin alarm line. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Uh, yes, but with the exclusion of the Franklin alarm. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Flame? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. Okay, a motion to approve the licenses for 2023. The licenses with David Bruno. Food handling. Auto amusements. Okay, thank you. I make a motion to approve all the licenses. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution R two nineteen twenty two authorizing the person to person transfer of plenary retail consumption license number 0805-33-006-003 from White Oaks Country Club to L Ricardo Bar. To LLC. I make a motion that we approve R219-22. I'll second. <clears throat> Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. Uh, resolution 220-22, authorizing the tax collector to grant tax exemption for a totally disabled veteran. I make a motion that we approve R220-22. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Blaine? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. Uh, resolution 221-22 authorizing the mayor and or his designee to sign a service contract with Barber Consulting Services. I make a motion that we approve R-221-22. Second. <laughs> Mr. Deegan? Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Blaine? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. Resolution 222-22, reducing performance bond for property known as the reserve at Autumn Lakes. I make a motion that we approve R-222-22. That's second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Special Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. Resolution 223-22, granting renewal of liquor licenses within the Township of Franklin for the year 2022 to 2023. I make a motion that we approve R-223-22. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. Resolution 224-22, authorizing the tax collector and chief financial officer to cancel tax overpayments for delinquent amounts less than $10. I make a motion that we approve R-224-22. Second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Pesh Wilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Wayne? Yes. Mayor Bruno? Yes. 
Uh, resolution 225-22, authorizing the administrator and tax collector for the township of Franklin to void the land sale, auction sale of township owned property known as block 1903, lot four. Make a motion that we approve our 225-22. I'll second. Mr. Deegan? Yes. Mrs. Peshwilson? Yes. Mr. Doyle? Yes. Mrs. Green? Yes. Mayor Burnham? Yes. Can I get a motion to open the second public portion for any comments? I make a motion that we open the second public portion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Good evening, Barbara Halpern, Harding Highway. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'll try to speak up then. Okay, if you approve the redevelopment zone or part of it, next is the redevelopment plan, which is a concept plan. So after that, how much will the township be involved in the actual site development? Will we be the developer? No. Okay. We don't own the property. We don't own the property. Well, I wasn't sure how it was going to work. Will the township be creating the actual site plan for the proposed development, uh, not just the concept plan? No. No. Okay. Will the township be involved in site improvements and road improvements, or will the private developer be responsible for that and the cost of that? Private developer. Probably. We don't know. No, 100% sure. Okay. So, highway. Okay. Um, have all of you read the guidance document regarding warehouse development? Put out by the state planning commission. Yes, I don't know if they read it. I have. Okay. Have the other people? Yes. Hmm? Okay. Um, what types of warehouses would you allow? Will you allow in the proposed redevelopment zone? We're not at the state. Have you given it any thought after reading the different kinds that are um, indicated in not that really. document? Not really. Okay. Um, Me personally. Okay, because there are big differences. And how will you deal with sewage generated from the development? Will there be on-site systems, or are they bringing city sewage, or are you bringing city sewage to the site? I know, but there was a rumor that someone might be trying to get Vineland to run a line. We know how rumors get started. Yeah, we know. So I figured you guys would know the answers to that. Um, good to know. So. Think anyone had capacity to share anyway these days so okay um also i know i noted that i think mr bruno and i know mr patch who's the planning board chair and an edc member said the reason the township is doing this is so the township has control over the site plan and mr patch mentioned so better buffers can be provided if that is the case inclusion of the township owned parcel in the malaga village district that consists of 47 acres of forest with wetlands along Scotland Run makes no sense as buffers begin at the property line extending into the proposed development. So um, exclusion of this lot would create better buffers. Does that make sense to you? What, what lot and block are you talking about? Like, which, which property? It's a large 47 acre lot. Most of that is wet, correct? What is that? Yeah, the there will be a. No matter how it sits down, you can't develop it. Well, part, they could come in and take some of the trees outside the buffer. There's an area of the property that might um, have the ability to remove some of that vegetation, so I'm not understanding why that's even included when it really shouldn't be. It's part of the greenways which under the master plan we're supposed to retain for water quality. And it also increases the buffer to the people who live on Defiance and in the Malaga Terrace neighborhood, which is by the dollar store off Delcy. So it doesn't really make any sense to include that lot at all. And if it doesn't, there's no intention to cause any tree removal or damage to that lot. Then why was it chosen for inclusion? chosen and put it in there doesn't mean we have to keep it in there okay well that's encouraging the land sale as well. yeah it was in the land sale which nobody bought it because it, w it was for 500,000 even though you said the value was 200,000 and uh, so nobody's coming up with that kind of money to buy it but if it was included it does open up the door that um, 
based on the state document that we were talking about that talks about redevelopment zones, it said that you could sell that land to the developer without competitive bidding. So there is a concern. Whoever wants to buy it, they had it in the public auction. Well, I'm still not understanding why, why you're even trying to sell it because it's part of the Greenway. Are you familiar with the open space plan and the Greenways, Mr. People Doyle? This property across the street surrounded by woods. Is yeah, well, it's also not in the Greenway. The tip of it comes close. The Greenway consists of 300 feet to the streams. The parcel I bought was a developable parcel, and uh, it is not technically in the Greenway. And if it was, I still would have bought it, and I would have made sure it was never developed. So thank you. Is that my five minutes? Okay, good to know you're reading up on the stuff. Okay, Joe Fetch, 2370 Staten Avenue. <clears throat> it's okay to talk? Okay. <laughs> good evening, Mayor, Council, uh, Committee. Uh, first off, the two new committee uh, gentlemen that are coming in, uh, congratulations to them. And I sure hope that they keep in mind uh, that there's 18,000 residents in this town, not individuals or n individuals' uh, agendas that uh, are out there, that they represent the entire town. Mr. Deegan and, and I were, our families were next door neighbors with our, uh, our kids growing up. Uh, Dave uh, said, served honorably for uh, nine years on this committee, and I, I personally want to thank him uh, for all that he has done in uh, Franklin, both as a committeeman and as a mayor. To the last person, uh, Mary, who has served up here for the last six years, uh, first off, it, she is the first father uh, and daughter who have consecutively served on this township committee in the history of the, uh, the town. Mary's the one person that nobody ever came after. Mary was always the middle of the road, the uh, one who tr always tried to find the uh, common ground that would satisfy everybody. And to that, uh, we are extremely proud and congratulate you on your retirement. I'm sure you'll find something else to do in the future. But uh, anyway, it's much appreciative to both of you for the time that you served on Township Committee. Thank you. Thank you. I made a motion to close the second public portion. Did you time, Joe? I did. Good job. <laughs> now I can get you number five. I, I don't want anyone to think you were uh, getting I special privilege. Uh, Mayor, I don't want no special privilege. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Committee reports. Tim? Uh, uh, Heather? Um, I just want to reiterate what Joe said. It's been a pleasure sitting up here with Dave and Mary. Uh, we learned a lot together. We did a lot of um, extracurricular as far as like going to the um, league of municipalities and learning as much as we could at a rapid pace um, it's a lot of learning as you go first saying the school board that had a lot of training for us um, but mary and i kind of like knuckled down together and learned a lot and tried to do the best we could so i wanted to say thank you to Mary and Dave kind of already knew what he was doing. He had prior experience, so we kind of looked at him to lead us along the way. So thank you very much, and uh, you know, it'll, uh, congratulations to the new people that are coming in. That's it, and Happy New Year to everyone. Mary? Oh, I had a right note. Hey, I'm sorry, I let her go. Who would have knew? Who would have thunk it? Yeah. Uh, well, first I want to thank my fellow committee men and women. To say I'm going to miss these guys is a complete understatement. Um, thank you, Barb, for always keeping us in line and then, you know, keeping us together. I want to thank my family, my parents, and my children, and my husband for being so patient with me because uh, I know it wasn't easy. And uh, I want to thank the residents of the town for putting their faith in myself and Dave, mine for the past six years, and Dave for nine. Um, the relationships that I've made with the residents is 
what I will always cherish the most uh, on this adventure. And on that note, I'm not going to say goodbye, but I'm just going to say I'll see you later. <laughs>